So welcome back to another fabulous episode of All Things STEM. Today we have two fabulous ladies, uh, Ruth Keys and Nicole Zajic. Did I pronounce your name right? Zajac. Zajac. Yep. Um, who are the founders and co-presidents of Junior Code Academy. Ruth received her undergraduate degree from Washington and Lee and her um, MBA from Wake Forest. Um, and is that right, MBA? Did I say that right? I'm sorry, I'm That's the wrong person. Yes. <laughs> um, we can answer for each other. <laughs> yes, I have to keep it straight. Um, so Ruth has worked in finance, um, founded and ran a baby clothing business for almost a decade, and currently works as a teacher at Wellesley Public Schools. In addition to raising her four, four children, four children. Um, Ruth is developing and running Junior Code, and Nicole is a Boston College graduate with a degree in early childhood teaching, and she spent time in Chicago teaching young children before moving back to Boston to pursue a career in recruiting, and she too is raising two children and devoting all her time to Junior Code Academy. <laughs> So welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. And, Thank and you. introduce yourselves. Which one of you is Ruth? Which one of you is Nicole? So I'm Ruth. You're Ruth. And I'm Nicole. You're Nicole. Awesome. So tell us, how did you get started doing Junior Code Academy? How did this all come about? Well, um, my daughter Mia, um, very interested, creative, wanted to do a little bit of programming, computer stuff, something different than all the sports that she plays. So my husband, who has a little bit of a programming background, decided, let's take a look and see what's out there. A lot of online stuff, not a lot of classroom teaching stuff in this area. So we decided to come up with a little programming <coughs> coding academy for kids. And then we brought it to the Keyses and asked them if they'd like to join us with that. Are you neighbors? Do you live close by? Close. 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 Pretty close. And so good you, friends. So you can walk over and say, hey, I need help. I need yes. a partner. Yes. I need man hours <laughs> yes. and expertise. You pretty much talk on a, a regular lot. basis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And how did you, how did your daughter hear about code? From my husband, who was interested in it and knows about it, and said, what, let's try it. Let's give it a, a whirl and see what it's all about. I had this one mom tell me that um, they saw President Obama's address on TV about mm -hmm. uh, an hour, hour of to code, code and coding yes. and getting into it. And their kids were thinking, what is this stuff? What is code? We should get into that. Yeah. And so that was, you know, one, one way it's to go, right? a great introduction. Yeah. So and they've been doing it a little bit right. in the schools as yeah. well, but this yeah. kind of dives a little deeper. Yeah, and, and how did you um, decide to jump on to the... So Mia is one of my daughter Ainsley's good friends, oh. and it worked pretty well because we had run Spanish classes out of yeah. our basement <laughs> for some of our daughter and so their you're, friends. you're entrepreneurial ladies to begin with. So. You're, you're good at founding things and... Yeah. Well, seeing a need yeah. and then trying yeah. to get a group together. <laughs> right. So when you two were young, did you have this all figured out, that this is what you're going to do one day? <laughs> Not at I'm all. I'm going to grow up to be this fabulous business starting, <laughs> teaching parent, and I'm going to start junior code. <laughs> Not at all. We s still laugh a little bit because neither one of us have this type of no. background at all. And, and how easy is it to learn or pick up as you go along? It's pretty great, um, especially the way that we've developed it with the kids, the younger kids. I joke that I just okay. want to stay literally one millisteps ahead of them. Um, but then by the time they get into the middle school classes, they have right. done way more than I can do. And, um, and, and what are, what's the age range of, the, of junior code? Kindergarten, so, sorry, kindergarten, kindergarten through eighth yeah. grade. Oh, okay, so that's, that's pretty high up there. Eighth grade mm -hmm. is pretty, I mean, they know what they're doing by, by They're grade. learning, yep. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good to have confidence. So as long as they don't know you're a millisecond ahead of them. Yes. yes. It works really well. It works yeah. well. Right. Yep. We won't tell anybody. No. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so give us some of your experiences on how this has gone. So this is your first year. Yes, we just started this. in January. So Three months. It was great. Right. We um, put the class together and kind of emailed out a few of our friends and said, hey, we're thinking about starting this class. Anybody interested? And we weren't quite sure how the response would be. And within 24 hours, we had sold out kind of our capacity for two right. classes. Right. So. It's been a whirlwind since January, and then now we have our second session going, and we have nine classes with over 120 kids. Oh wow! Look at that. And is it is it twice a week, or how? Do, what is the schedule like? So each class runs once a week, mm -hmm. and um, the kindergarten, kind of the more introduction classes, are about an hour, and then the more intermediate and advanced classes run an hour and a half a week. And and how do you ladies juggle this in addition to the? work <laughs> and the family and the it could happen <laughs> yeah you just put one foot in front of the other is there a particular coffee brand that you could recommend <laughs> anything lots yeah 
Wow, that yeah. sounds that sounds fabulous. And you're coming to Expo. Yes. Just yes. March 28th on Saturday at the Wellesley High School at yep. 10 a.m. And you'll be there setting up. And what will you do um, for the Expo? What's your idea for? It's great. We are actually getting to run four sessions um, that kids will sign up and come, and they get to kind of create their own mini program in Scratch. And one of the things we're most excited about is one of our teachers from Olin College who helped us develop the curriculum is actually going to be there running the class for us. Oh, great. And so we also have one of our high schools, we have a bunch of high school kids as teacher's assistants. And so she's going to be able to come in and help out as well. And it'll be a lot of fun. I think each class is kind of designed to be about 30 minutes. And then we'll be able to kind of talk to families and other people who are interested and show them maybe some other things. But I think the thing I'm most excited about is exposing our teachers to kind of the community. Yeah. And seeing, I mean, these girls that have developed the curriculum are amazing. amazing. They all have computer science degrees. They've done Girls Who Code or Robo Gals. Like they have right. a pretty great passion for teaching right. kids. And and where are these these people from? Are they so from Olin? Or? Olin and yeah, Wellesley so College, college. Oh, are all of our teachers. Wow, so. awesome. And how did you um, tap into them? How did you find them and ask them to participate? What's the story there? So our husband's actually, yeah. um, especially Marco, is definitely more interested and that's his background. Yeah. And so <laughs> when they talked about these classes, yeah. I was like, I, not it. I, like, I can't do yeah. it. Um, and so they met with some of the professors at these colleges oh, and asked for recommendations right. as to who would be a good fit ah, for this. Excellent. That's, that's, yeah, that's, there's nothing like, you know, going to each of these places and stalking people. And, and we have such a resource in our backyard yeah, that yeah, it's nice that true. we can use it. Wellesley is a good community that way. There are a lot of colleges and it's great. a lot of things around, right? Yeah. So um, websites, how does one sign up for Junior Code and when? www.juniorcode.com and it would be jrcode.com. Yep. And right when, when do people sign up? Summer? So we're looking, we're planning our fall classes actually yeah. a lot oh, right, right now, now and opening registration for that in May probably. Okay. So. Good. And if people are interested, they can always go to our website and register to be right. on the email list. Okay. So when we do open registration, right. then that way they'll be aware of it. Awesome. Um, and what are the requirements? Do kids have to do something before they come in? Nope, none. They have to give us a hug before they, they come in. That's <laughs> it. Some bring you some Skittles. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. all for a bribe with the coffee yes. with or the coffee. candy. Yes. That's good. Um, no, it's great. We have kind of different levels right. of kids who have been doing this at home, have done the 20 hours right. of code, who want to jump right into intermediate instead of doing the intro. And it's one of those things if a parent feels that that's the level their kid is, that's great. There have been a couple kids who, when we noticed that they were in an intro class, were a little more advanced. We've tried to work with their schedule to see if they could go into kind of a more challenging class for them. So it's pretty self-explanatory. But and, and you, can, <laughs> you start as young as like five or six years old? So I kindergarten. Kindergarten. So right. we have a couple five and six year olds. I get to teach the kindergarten and first grade uh -huh. and I love them. Um, and it's nice because we use the Scratch Junior mm -hmm. app, which mm -hmm. is less built on kind of being able to read, and it's more visual mm -hmm. than the Scratch website that they use in the older grades. So, and do they bring their own computer? The kindergarten and first gra grade all bring their own iPad. Um, most kids do bring their own laptop, but we do have kind of a supply of kids. And I love this. So one of the moms was like, "I don't trust my second grader with my laptop at home." And I totally get that. So we have bought, a, we have a stash of Chromebooks that we oh, use nice. for them. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. So. You ladies are very organized. <laughs> you have your own stash of Chrome. Yep. <laughs> right, yep. So tell me some of the stories. Of, um, so a first time coder. So you have a kid who's in there. Nicole's I have got a, a great, great story. story. Yes. Um, a good friend sure. of mine from Dover, her son is in the class. And immediately after the first class, he runs to the car and says, Mom, I wish we could do this coding class every day and for two hours, not just one hour. And that was a cute little story that, you yeah. know, they're just loving it and wanting right. to come back and that makes us happy. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. I'm sure the mom was like, well, Nicole, yeah. can I just yeah. leave my child? Absolutely. <laughs> come on down. Four hours after yes. school. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're responsible yeah. and yeah. I know but, where to find you. Yep. <laughs> Fine with me. So that's good. And so how about some of the older kids? Um, do you have kids who have experience doing this? So and my son is in seventh grade and he's taking a JavaScript class mm -hmm. and he had no experience whatsoever. And at first he's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't right. know. But now second class, loving it, 
um, big smile on his face, yeah. came home and showed me his project, yeah. and it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And they're not as um, lively as the second and third <laughs> graders that can, you know, they sit there and they're all very shy, but loving yeah. it. Veronica, she teaches the Java class. She has them all rotate doing presentations. So even if that's not their strong suit, getting up in front of, especially middle school age kids, right. um, getting up in yes. front of other people. It's nice that in this environment, not only are they learning the coding, but they're also gaining some other skills too. And after I saw her do that, I started doing it with the kindergarten and first graders, and they have no problem getting up yeah. and right. showing right. off what yeah. they right. can do. Right. Yeah. But I think that there's some other intangibles that are slowly weaving themselves into the curriculum, which is great. And is it a, is it a mixed age class? So it's everyone together? In a group? So we tried to group it in terms of kind of two grades. So it's kindergarten and first grade, mm -hmm. second and third grade, fourth and fifth, and then middle school. And then there's some overlap. We had a family who had a second grader and a fourth grader, but they were both taking an intro class, and so they're both in the same one because it's a little, it's the curriculum's very similar for both of those mm -hmm. age groups and for ease of drop off, it doesn't right. make sense to come back twice. Right. And so yep. we can accommodate right. stuff yep. like that. Oh cool. And yeah. then there's yeah. some fifth graders. Fifth graders in been, with yeah. the uh, Java class. Yeah. Right. With the sixth and seventh. So, so it's a little fluid, but we we knew yeah. that a fifth grader probably wouldn't want to be in class with a second grader. Right. Right. So right. understandably yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So um, this, this sounds awesome. So tell me, um, from your perspective, um, why do you think this is important? Why is coding important to know? So there is um, a ton of studies that have been released that kind of show where the jobs will be in the next 20 years. And even if you're not a computer programmer or you go into coding, just being aware of kind of the different parts and how it works, I think it'll be very different landscape than it is when we were out getting jobs. So I think exposing our kids right. to this is really important. And I think one thing that's nice, especially in the K to five space, is it's really creative. There's no wrong way to come up with a code. Mm -hmm. And so they're having a lot of fun doing it. And so it's not intimidating when they get a little right. older. Because a, a lot of people now feel that um, technology is just a part of our lives. Right. We can't imagine a time when we didn't have a smartphone. Or right. When we yeah. didn't have all this access to iPads and scratch programming yeah. and stuff, right? So yeah. it's better to sort of have an ease mm -hmm. um, with it to begin with from an early age. And it's great. It teaches kind of right. critical thinking. And I think all of those, no matter what they end up doing, will be mm -hmm. very important. And, and it's, it's uh, I think I also hear good things about um, in training kids, especially in um, thinking logically, mm -hmm. um, especially with code. You have to go in a step-by-step -step fashion, and you yeah. have to think of the whole project yeah. before you initiate the first step. Right. Yep. Right, so you, you have a goal to get to, and then you have to think backwards almost to see exactly. what are the steps that I have to put in to, yeah. to um, yeah. It's nice. One of Crazy. the projects they do at the end of the session is that they kind of go offline for a little bit and think of their project and write it down mm -hmm. and then have to go back and figure out how to get that outcome. Right. And, and how are your students? Are they good about, when they miss like step five and six, are they good about um, coming back and being resilient about it and saying, oh, wait a and second. Figuring it out. Yeah. yeah. They, I think they like yeah. the challenge, challenge of it. Other. And they see it more as right. a game versus right. they didn't accomplish something. Yeah. Like it's more right. of a challenge. Do you, have you ever had a, a kid who's quit? Who's thrown himself on the floor and said, oh, that's it. I'm done. Not yet. No. Can't do no. it. No. <laughs> no. No. I think when you put a kid in front yeah. of a computer, they right. think it, they don't right. think of it as like the math class, right. for instance, that right. I signed my kids up for. They right. love going. And right. so I think that that's also another kind of side effect that's yeah. been great is it teaches them to stick with something. Right. And, and also um, the visuals of scratch programming. It's great. When you yes. see things move on the screen, I think there's something really interesting about having the visuals and that you you did all these mm -hmm. these plugins you to created make that it. thing move yeah. on yeah. the screen. So it's almost like creating your own TV show sort yeah. of. Yeah. Right. Yep. So there's a lot of kind of instant gratification yep. that goes yes. along with it, which yes. is right. good. It's fun for these right. kids. Yeah. So the, the Expo Steering Committee, um, we were sitting around joking that um, the evolution of humans will be in 20 years where these two fingers get really large. Yes. <laughs> the rest of us shrink. <laughs> I like the rest of us yes. shrink. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yes. You know. Awesome. Yeah. So, so what else would you like to add? Tell me um, your other thoughts and comments generally, junior code. 
I think the main gist of it is we're trying to emphasize creativity and fun for these kids, get them interested, and if they want to explore kind of the more in intense classes, like the Java and JavaScript, mm -hmm. we will eventually kind of expand on that. But teaching them to have fun right. and that they can persevere through some of that stuff is great. Great. And do you see yourself doing this in the long term? A few years, maybe? Yes. Yes. 10, 20, you know. Well, future. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, I don't know about future 20. Yeah. But 10. 10. 10. 10. Yes. 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 10 is yes. a good number. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This has been such a pleasure. Well, thank you thank for you. having us. I'm sure everyone will be looking forward to seeing you at Expo. Yes. And signing up on JuniorCodeAcademy.com yes. oh, for your fall classes. For the expo, we yes. are giving away one of our Chromebooks. Oh, wow. So Look at that. come by and register. Is there, give like us a, is there a contest? Or yes. There, yep. So all you have to do is come out and fill a form out for us, oh. and then we and will be. there's a raffle? There's yep. a raffle for that. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. As well as a free class in the fall. Yep. So yeah, definitely come by and well, say you're hi. Really, you're really enticing. Yes, yes. you are. This, this is better than brownies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Nicole and Ruth. It's been such a pleasure Thank to have you. you on today. Thank we you. We look forward to seeing you.